Russia has deployed the latest generation of combat aircraft since early 2023, such as the Su-30 Flanker C, Su-35 Flanker E and Su-57 Felon. The Russian Ministry of Defense has officially confirmed that the Suhoi Su-35 air fleet is the most widely used and dominates air combat. Russia relies heavily on the Su-35 fighter to replace the role of obsolete fighter jets. Moreover, the Su-35 has a very good radar and very effective long-range missiles. Even Moscow can use its Su-35 fighter to support ground operations. The ABC News report cited sources in Ukraine as saying Russia's deployment of the latest generation fighter was a real risk and dominated the air battle. Moreover, Russia has 12 times more warplanes than Ukraine, and this is a big problem. The Su-35 Flanker E fighter is an advanced capable multirole air superiority fighter developed from the Su-27 Flanker. Compared to the Su-27 design, the Su-35's forward fuselage has been upgraded to accommodate the larger 900mm diameter Urbis E radar antenna. High strength, low weight, composite materials have been used for non-structural items such as the rodom, nose wheels, doors, and leading flaps. Some of the fuselage structures are made of carbon fiber and lithium aluminum alloy. The Su-35 fighter is 21.9 meters long, has a wingspan of 15.3 meters and is 5.9 meters high. The aircraft is operated by a single pilot and has the capacity to carry a maximum payload of 8,000 kg. The cockpit has a central control column and is equipped with a Zvesta 00 ejection seat which allows the pilot to eject at zero speed and zero altitude. The aircraft has quadruplex, digital fly-by-wire control developed by Avionica Moscow Research and Production Complex JSC MNPK Avionica. The aircraft has 12 hardpoints for carrying weapons, with each wing having 4 hardpoints. One at the wingtip and three stations under the wing. There are two hardpoints on the underside of the fuselage on the centerline and one under each engine. This hardpoint is to carry the Vampel R-27 air-to-air missile NATO designation A-10 Alamo. The medium-range radar-guided Vampel missile is known as the R-77, A-12 Adder, and the short-range infrared-guided Vampel is known as the R-73E, A-11 Arrow. There are also the KH-29, as 14 Kedge Molnia tactical air-to-surface missile, the KH-31P, as 17 Krypton, anti-radiation missile, and the KH-58 Ush, as 11 Kilter, long-range missile. These include the KH-31A anti-ship missile, the KH-59MK, as 18 Kazoo, long-range missile, the Kaliber long-range missile and the NPO Mashinostronia heavy long-range Yakont missile. The Su-35 aircraft can be armed with various guided bombs, such as CAV-500KRTV, KAV-500SE satellite guided bomb, LGB-250 laser guided bomb, CAV-1500KRTV guided bomb, and CAV-1500LG laser guided bomb. The aircraft can also be armed with 80mm, 122mm, 266mm and 420mm rockets. Its large and powerful engine gave it supercruise capability for a long time. The engine also makes it possible to reach supersonic speeds without using afterburners. The engines have three-dimensional thrust vectoring and make the aircraft highly maneuverable despite the lack of cannons. It is currently the only production fighter to use two-plane thrust vectoring nozzles. Other thrust vector aircraft, such as the F-22 Raptor and Su-30 MKI have a nozzle that vectors only one plane. This poses a major threat to Western Generation 4 Plus fighters, such as the Eurofighter Typhoon, Dassault Rafale, F-15C or F-A-18E Super Hornet. However, the Su-35s are no match for the USF-22 Raptor, which has stealth capabilities. <laughs>